Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about the basic principle of DC generator. So, DC generator basic principle. Are you okay? So, tell me, whenever a rotating conductor placed in a stationary magnetic field, what is that, what I am saying? Whenever a rotating conductor placed in a stationary magnetic field, then it produces EMF. This is simply the basic principle of DC generator. What I am saying is that take a stationary magnetic field. This is my stationary magnetic field which is excited by the DC supply with some flux density B. And take a rotating conductor. For example, this is a rotating conductor which rotating at uh, some velocity v, v velocity. The angle between flux density and velocity is the theta. According to Faraday's law, the induced EMF is equals to in this conductor. When a rotating conductor placed in a stationary magnetic field, then it produces EMF. That EMF is equals to BLV sin theta, where B is the flux density, you know about this already. L is the actual length of my conductor. This is also well known thing. Can you tell me what is V? What is V? Is a linear velocity of my conductor in meters per second. This is Weber for meter square or Tesla. This is what length in terms of meters. Weber for meter square or Tesla. This is meters. This is meters per second and theta is the angle between flux density and linear velocity. This is simply the EMF induced in these conductors. Are you okay? Getting or not? Yeah, for example, if they given you in terms of speed, RPM, revolutions per minute, how we can convert that speed into meters per second? Revolutions per minute, nothing but N revolutions per 60 seconds. Then one revolution for, one revolution for, can you tell me? One revolution, the time taken is dt is equals to 60 out of n is the one revolution, the time taken to complete one revolution. So see here, for example, my generator is rotating like this. So for one revolution, what is velocity v? v is equals to distance or displacement by time. Displacement by time. Displacement for one revolution. What is the displacement for one revolution? 2 pi r. And what is time to complete one revolution? 60 out of n. 2 r nothing but d. So pi d n out of 60 meters per second. This is conversion of RPM to the meters per second. This is what velocity. So you have to substitute here in terms of velocity pi d n out of 60. This is simply the question they may ask you. Is it okay? Yes or no? Right. For example, they will ask you a question. What is, for example, question is like this. Listen carefully my question. A six pole DC generator rotating at 1200 RPM or 
1800 rpm for easy calculations. Six pole DC generator rotating at 1800 rpm. Then tell me the frequency of induced EMF. What is the formula, sir, for this? This is very different. What is the formula? Can you tell me? So it's very simple. You know, the speed is equals to 120F upon P. They given the speed as well as they given the number of poles. We have to find out the frequency. So this 0, 0 gets cancelled. 6, 1, so 6, 2, so 2, 1, so 2, 90. So, so the frequency of induced EMF is 90 Hz. Like this. This is a well known N is equals to 120 F by P. A 6 pole DC generator rotating at 800 RPM. Then what is the frequency of induced EMF? They will ask you a question like this. Here, the induced GMF is AC. Don't think that this is a DC generator. Why it is a frequency? Very silly question. Don't think like that. We will be silly at that point. Even in DC generator, the EMF induced in the armature winding, which is AC only. AC boleto, it should have a frequency. AC alternating. So, this is simply the DC machines EMF equation. Up to now, we just given the magnitude. This magnitude is given by Faraday's law. Of course, but what is the direction of induced GMF? Can you anyone give me? The direction of induced GMF is the direction of induced GMF given by the Fleming's right hand rule. The SAR is named Fleming. He stated the right hand rule and left hand rule. So according to Fleming's right hand rule, if you stretch the three fingers of right hand like this, 90 degrees to each other, like this, so take like this, three fingers, one, two, three. One is the thumb, and next one is the four finger, and next one is the middle finger, like this. Here, the thumb indicates, can you tell me what it indicates? Motion of my conductor, nothing but prime over torque, nothing but velocity, nothing but mechanical quantity. Thumb indicates mechanical quantity, motion of conductor. Then what the forefinger indicates? Forefinger indicate magnetic flux direction, nothing but magnetic field, nothing but magnetic quantity. Next one, what the middle finger or center finger indicates? The middle finger indicates EMF direction, nothing but electrical quantity. EMF direction is nothing but electrical quantity. So finally, the induced EMF direction given by Fleming's left hand rule, according to this rule, the middle finger indicates the EMF direction. This is simply the direction given by the Fleming's right hand rule, the magnitude given by the Faraday's law. This is simply the basic principle of our DC generator. Okay, did you got it? Actually, here we have a two different types of EMFs in our electrical system. Let's see. Generally, in any machine, whatever the machine, to produce EMF, what we required? We required three basic things. To produce EMF, what we required? One is the set of conductors. And second one is the magnetic flux. And third one is the relative motion between conductors and the flux. This is very important thing. Here, this relative motions are actually two types. You know already. One is the 
relative time variation what is that relative time variation and other one is the relative space variation this is simply the two types of relative variations relative motions in relative space variation the space should be varying nothing but here conductors are dynamic in state or rotating and the magnetic flux is stationary nothing but dc flux whereas in constant time variation relative time variation here conductors are stationary zero speed magnetic flux is moving moving is nothing but ac flux so tell me tell me what happened here here conductor stationary flux moving so we have a relative motion then emf induces that emf is called statically induced emf because here conductors are stationary here also emf induces that emf is called dynamic induced emf this is a dynamic and this is a static induced emf are you clear here this is the best example is transformer in which emf is static and this is equals to minus n into d phi by dt this is the magnitude is given by faraday's second law and direction given by lenz law already we discussed in transformers and its magnitude is equals to blv sin theta its magnitude given by again faraday's law and its direction given by fleming so fleming so right hand rule we already discussed just now this is simply the basic principle of dc generator not dc machine is that clear up to now yeah this is the the brief overview of dc machine right thank you